Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer, and guess what? Since you have homework, I am going to show you guys how to do a listing presentation inside of Command. So let's get going. I want you to go to agent.kw.com and log in. That's agent.kw.com and just log in with your Keller Cloud login. Click sign in. And we're just going to go straight into designs. It's the third from the bottom icon or applet on the left hand side near menu bar here. Clicking on designs. And then we're going to click on create design in the top right. It's a little blue button. And then we're going to click on the print option and click continue. Give it a second. Now, on the left hand side here, we have more menu items. This time we're going to click on listings and listing presentation. And then we have all these options that we can use. I'm just going to use the first one, hover my mouse over the word use, and then when it turns blue, I'm going to click the button. And now you can see I have my listing presentation. On the bottom right, I have pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, this says listing presentation template. I don't need that page, so I'm just going to go through and delete all the pages I don't need. You can do that too. Anything with numbers, just make sure you delete by clicking the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the actual page and then clicking delete on that page. I'm going to go through and do that right now. Okay, so now I have taken that down from like 30 pages to 19 pages. I have all the pages that I want. And so I'm just going to edit the pages that need to be edited. So I'm, I scroll back up to page one. And now you can see this is a custom consultation exclusively prepared for. So I'm actually just going to take that out. I'm going to select the text, highlight it and press delete. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put my picture in here. So you should have your own image in here. So I'm just going to select that, make sure I have my image in here and click the circle arrow on images. Let me move my face. So you click on images and then your assets will come up, up that you've uploaded. And then you just hover over the image and select this, uh, click on the circle arrow and it replaces that image for you. Then you're going to come in here, select the text that you need to change. And when you do that, you're going to click on this button in the top of your screen that when you hover over is the typewriter, it looks like a domino. And you're just going to come in here and change all of the stuff. And you're going to do this on all the pages. And so you're going to come in here and you're going to change all of your information your website, your email. Again, when you do the logos, they should pop up and then you can select the logo and then just use the replace logo button or the arrow in a circle. And that puts the logo where it goes and you don't have to do any resizing. Once you're done in the typewriter, you're going to click save changes and everything that you've done in there should change. If you need to resize, you can do that by clicking the vertical arrow, uh, the vertical line and dragging to make the box bigger. Okay, I'm done with this page. I like it. I'm going to go on to the next page, which needs no edits. And I'm just going to keep going and keep going until I find the page that needs edit. This one is actually going to be the property name uh, the property address that you're working on. So you will click here, change the property address, click here. You can remove this page if you would like to have a generic listing presentation that you can grab and go. Otherwise you will have to come in every single time and change this page to the address and the uh, property information that you are going on the appointment for. Um, so you would just come in here, change everything like, uh, like you would any other page, click on the typewriter, you can change all this and then click save changes. 
and then make sure in this description here that you click on that typewriter and bring it up because it says your home is 10% larger than the average property sold in Barton Hills. So you will have to take this Barton Hills and put in the neighborhood name on all these lines, right? It's in here like four times. So make sure you change this to the actual neighborhood that you're going to, or you can just, like I said before, you can just remove all the, remove this page entirely. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to go through and make all the changes that I need to that are in this presentation. Make sure you change your app URL. Always have to click save changes when you do that. You can drag and drop the box over if it's if it gets too long and goes on two lines. And of course, this very last page is going to be your information. Don't forget there's there's information here to change and also here. So make sure you make make those changes. Replacing the logo with the circle arrow button after I have the logo selected on the page. Sometimes you do have to double click on that though to make sure you can get it. You need to make the page bigger so that you can see the information on it. You can click this fit button. This I'm actually going to pull this a little lower and then I'm going to change the address. I like that. Looks good. All right. And that's all the pages of my presentation. So I'm just going to make sure this is saved. I'm going to click file and save. I'm going to name this up here in the top listing presentation and then I'm going to click download. I'm going to do PDF for printing in here and then I'm going to select all pages and then I'm going to click download. Once your presentation is done, you can save it as whatever you want. And then when it's downloaded, you can look at it, proofread it before you send it to someone or give it to someone. Make sure you've made all the edits. If you're currently in the CAP class, uh, you can totally send this to me and I will proof it for you for errors. So make sure that you get that to me as soon as possible. And everything looks good. I love it. It's ready to send on. So, or print it out and take it with me. So I hope this helped you guys and happy creating.